Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. My name is David Huang. I am the CEO of the Chizo Nail Art. The product I will be using today is going to be OM15B and the brush I will be using today is going to be a number 14 Chizo by David Huang brush. What I like to say about with you guys today is the application. Most importantly is the cuticle, the shaping, how to master that cuticle and how to master the application. The way that I pick up the monomer is I go down all the way down and kind of let the brush sink into the monomer and then slowly pick up, release uh, just a little bit on the side. And how you pick up the polymer is you go down one, two, and this is the bead. You place the bead right around the line of the cuticle and then as you go down, you tilt the nail down a little bit and then go ahead and go ahead and work around the cuticle area right here and then work yourself down. Let the product flow down. The product actually is consistently flow. You can see how the color, you will never find marbleizing in one of our product like this. I just work myself down easily. Mostly, you see, I don't use a lot of pressure to work with the product. I kind of guide the product to go down. So as you could see, I have a one ball is finished on the one application. Now, you can go ahead and check your work by turning it side down. As you can see, my nail is contour uh, from the cuticle out to the feet. As, as you can see, the apex is showing right where the, uh, where the breaking point is. So one ball method application is complete. And now what I'm trying to do is, if you work, you continue to go into the next nail. Right now I'm waiting for the nail to dry so I can start fouling the shape. As you can see, the application is finished and the nail is dry. First thing, how you hold your file to do the shape is very important. A lot of you guys doing a lot of moving. What I like to do is just like one direction that I like to do and I file from the outside until the connection of the tip and the nail, that's where you're gonna stop. So what you do is just one way direction, do not tilt the nail like this way and why you're filing. You have to be like up straight and file. One side, okay, do not drag, just stop and then go to the next side. Okay, as you can see, my thumb is pulling her skin out. To help, that help for the file not to go in and cut her cuticle on the side. As you can see, I'm keep fouling from, from here until downside. One direction only, do not rock, do not change size. Only one side until you can see that they are completely parallel to each other. At the bottom, you want to go in and start lightly on the bottom. Same thing on this side, you raise up. And most important is you have to turn her nail upside down. This is how you see from her cuticle to the tip. This is how I filed her nail like this. I don't file it earlier because it's kind of waste time because I have to turn around and file them anyway. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm gonna do it like that to all five nails. As you can see right now, from the cuticle to the tip are parallel with each other. That's what you wanna see, okay? Just going back, I am going to use one of this file. Okay, this here is a safety bit. It doesn't cut her skin. You can make this RPM go into about maybe five to 7,000 RPM. As you can see, you push that cuticle out from here. You could use the cuticle pusher to check to make sure that there's nothing stick or attached to the skin that you're gonna be fouling into because what happened is when you over apply the acrylic, when they stick to the cuticle and when a lot of people have a habit of rubbing a lot of liquid into the cuticle and you could see there's a pit uh, of the acrylic that always gonna stay there and that's what you don't want to be when you apply the one ball method that I try to do. I, I have to do now if I'm gonna go in around the cuticle, lay it down flat. I'm traveling from my right 
going in into my center. When I get to my center, this one can kind of lay flat right here. You see, I'm laying flat, and I, I angle it out, and I go outside. Continue, go from here into the middle, and go outside. And that is the finish. I don't have to do a lot of fouling on the top, but I like to foul it. I like to foul the top with my hand foul. So what I do, I tell my client kind of pull her nail in a little bit, hold that, and I'm go from here. As you can see, I'm holding from the side. I'm gonna travel into the middle, and then from the middle, I'm gonna start going to the outside, okay? And I'm go back in again, continue, continue, until I get to the outside. Now, if you look, you could see if it's not even, then you could see some area are not fouling, some area are, are foul. So you're gonna go have to go back and try to do it again from the very the beginning on tip into the connection of the apex right here. You wanna be like a barrel coming down. Most of the time when you do it this way, all my nails actually turn out very consistently the same because the way that I found, the way that I hold, okay? So now I'm pretty much done. All I gotta do now, just buffer, buff. I buff, I don't buff across the surface. I buff down because when I polish, I polish down. I don't polish sideways, so why, why would you polish up on the sideways? And that's just one of my tricks that I use for many, many years. Okay, as you can see, I'm buffing it down, okay? And that's pretty much, that's a finished product for today's video. All I have to do now, put on the top coat. See, the top that I'm gonna be using today is a black diamond top gel. This one right here doesn't turn yellow and it stay on very shine. Actually, it stay until three weeks later when your line come back. As you can see how I polish, I don't use a lot of it. I just use enough, okay? You go all the way down. Make sure you go all the way to the side. Make sure that you go all the way to the side. Do not overlap this cuticle. And you can see that is a different product. But before you want to cure them, what I like to do is rubbing against the wall because I like to keep this nice and straight. Let me cure under the lamp for 60 seconds. 60 seconds should be able to cure completely. After 60 seconds, you could see the top is finished and it cure. And this is all finished product for the one ball application. I am using a solid OM15B and a number 14 brush. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.